Is your favorite crypto project being used on the front lines right now in World War III? I have just uncovered some shocking connections between BRICS, Ethereum, and Chainlink that paint this picture clearer than it has ever been before as the world inches into a cataclysmic technological upheaval. But with every monumental change in technology in the world as we know it comes the insane opportunity for the savvy investor. Welcome to the blockchain basement. And in this video, I'm going to lay out some insanely bullish indicators for Ethereum and Chainlink in their connections to BRICS and the larger world at hand as everything begins to change, but also a reason to keep wary of the current situation and why you should be prepared. I'm your host, and you can call me the truth. The BRICS nations have become a superpower that is hellbent on overturning the US dollar as a world reserve currency. The plans are in motion right now to utilize blockchain technology to implement a payment system that will create a tidal wave of liquidity for the DeFi space. In February of 2021, a man by the name of Parv Agrawal put together a proposal for BRICS entitled Barriers to De-Dollarization Within BRICS. In this paper, he outlined the exact steps that BRICS will need to take in order to build the ultimate cross-border payment solution that cuts out the U.S. dollar entirely. Agrawal was previously the director of U.S.-Russia relations, a fintech and sanctions specialist as well. It's quite a noteworthy job title to have, but that's not his only set of accomplishments. But we will be digging into the whole picture later on in this video, so make sure you stick around. This is how you see the forest through the trees. The document predates the 2023 decision from Johannesburg in a declaration that they called for BRICS to begin settling payments between the nations using their respective national currencies. It's almost like the paper that Parv put together was the catalyst that instituted this declaration to be put together amongst BRICS as a whole. Once Russia had an expert and a plan, it was ready to openly discuss and begin the wheels in motion. Parv was the ideal man for the job. He had worked extensively with the Central Bank of Armenia, Africa, and running CBDC programming around the globe. Not to mention he extensively studied in Russia, and I'm sure bummed elbows with a few higher elites that are keen on his intelligence in this sector. The Russian finance ministry has proposed an almost exact reference to Agrigal's paper called the BRICS Bridge. This calls for a multi-sided payment platform. This is a clear answer to Yuri Yushikov's message that BRICS has made a contingent reserve arrangement that will unite these nations economically. This means that BRICS will no longer have to bend the knee for the IMF or be at the mercy of swift payment systems as US sanctions continue to clamp down. Now that we understand the narrative surrounding the hatching of this plan, Let's go a little bit deeper into the details of what systems BRICS plans to employ for this mission. First, you can see that there is a critical need for an Oracle service, and none other than Chainlink has been named as providing this. Now, obviously, if you've been following this channel, you know I am insanely bullish on Chainlink, so this does not make me upset at all. Next up, we see the OG Ethereum locking down smart contracts, but there are front-end concerns about those gas fees and the transactions there within. But if you sit back and think about it, it starts to make a lot more sense why this ethereum russian connection would even exist in the first place now after the transaction moves through the oracle of Chainlink, you will see that ethereum none other than ethereum chosen to be the smart contract hub for this payment processing setup and if you ask why ethereum well if you think back to 2017 this connection starts to make a lot more sense see vitalik buterin has many russian friends and even had a casual meeting with the kremlin himself back in 2017. But despite the massive gas fee issues, Ethereum has solidified its position with BRICS to be pushed out on a global stage for payments. And now this is where it gets extra juicy. There is a glaring missing piece to this puzzle that Agrigal is so elegantly put together, and that is the final settlement layer. This is where Parv Agrawal's other job title comes into the picture. He is the vice president of CBDCs and partnerships at Wads Pay. In this document he put together, it conspicuously mentions that part of its payment system is still under development. As I began to dig into the research on Wads Pay, the white paper offered some critical information that would be very appealing to BRICS initiatives. Wads Pay employs a a combination of public and private ledgers, but more specifically, it provides a side chain for proof of authority to sandbox those transaction data sets. What's more is Wads Pay allows complex transactions in multiple currencies with many different participating parties that is agnostic and interoperable on any blockchain. A design for a CBDC just like this is a wet dream for BRICS. This is how they will get around swift sanctions. And the war is not even close to being done. This means that authorized countries can transact in their own currencies and it will be automatically converted to the secondary digital currency. Wads Pay has positioned 
positioned itself as the go-to for creating custom CVDC systems for governments, and they have an extremely experienced staff leading the charge. Now, if you hear this gigantic system being built out of the US dollar dominance, plus the addition of CBDCs for countries like China, and you don't have some reservations about it, you need to spend more time in the basement. You need to get more based. Just keep in mind their website lists that they serve 229 countries, but guess what? US residents are ineligible. Imagine that. The moral of the story is SWIFT is a dying breed. These systems are being developed in countries that are being sanctioned by the United States, and they will succeed to a degree in de-dollarization. If you're in with Chainlink, Ethereum, or other types of systems that are part of this technological upheaval, the bull market is getting ready to go parabolic. And with that, world tensions just the same. So get positioned now, operate from a position of power, and make sure that you and your family are taken care of from generations on out. This is our chance to capture this generational wealth and I'm glad to share this information with you before the times get real good. If you found this information valuable and you gained something, smash that like, hit the share button, and join our Discord in the link below this description. I appreciate every single one of you for joining me today, and I'll be back next week with another crypto deep dive.